Whoa, this camera is terrible. This is this is Apple's best iPhone here. And ugh. oh, anyways, let's talk about batteries. Well, actually, not batteries. Let's talk about uh, solar charge controllers. Okay, let's do a little experiment here. Uh, cheap uh, 24 volt solar charge controllers. Let's do this. Here's our little experiment, okay? Here is our battery pack that eventually is gonna go into this, right? I'm working on the video there, but I gotta work out the, the actual the actual project, right? So, um, and I'm choosing the components very carefully because this is, I think this is gonna be cheap, so a lot of you guys are gonna wanna do this and build this one thing, as it has happened in the past, right? So I'm trying to figure out how to make a thing that you can charge via solar and also off of the wall, right? Using one of these things or one of the little smaller ones. Um, so here we go. I was thinking of using just a regular DC to DC, right? The problem is that this is not a proper charger. It doesn't have the, you know, constant voltage, constant current, constant voltage, two stage little thing, right? You could do it. I've done it before, but because so many of you guys are looking at what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay away from doing, you know, breaking too many rules and doing stuff the right way. You know, I, I think I'm done proving to the world that <laughs> that the way people say that needs to be done, it's the only way to be to do it, right? Uh, for now, I think in the in the name of safety and uh, let's let's stick to the to the right way of doing things, you know. Somewhat, you know, not, not of the whole way, but in there. So anyways, right now, what I want to do is compare this. This is a solar charge controller. It's a cheap one. It's, uh, I think, $15. I think I found it on Amazon. This is also a $15 DC to DC. So right now, what I am testing is to see how it would handle the charging. This is a one and a half amp uh you know, 7S charger. It does, uh, wait, what does it say here? Yeah, 29.4, 1.5 amps, right? So this one has the right two stage, uh, you know, battery charging thing here, right? But then I'm like, do I put two connectors? If I want, I just want to have one single connector that you can charge, you know, off of the wall or off of, uh, uh, solar panels, right? I hope this is not too loud. Uh, anyways, so here's a little setup. I have this connected. It's connected here. This thing is on. I don't have the manual. I don't know what all these modes are, but uh, here it's what it's doing. It's doing 1.4 amps out of the 1.5 amps into the battery. And, you know, it's weird because this is 29, this is lower than the battery. So if this is a step down, uh, a buck uh, topology on this guy, then maybe that's the reason that it's, uh, you know, it's wasting about 10th, you know, one tenth of an amp there, right? 30, it's doing about 34, like 33 and 34 watts, right? So that's that's what it is. Let's see how this guy compares. This is actually a step up, a boost. No, no, this is a step down also. Uh, this is a step down and this would be lower than the battery. So it's not gonna be able to do its thing, right? But let's see if it's more efficient. Let's do it, change it. All right, here we go. I just connected it, it's the same way. Here's the one and a half amp charger going through this guy this is already set the uh, pot in there to charge only up to 29 volts uh, and here we go this one's actually doing 1.5 amps so 38 watts so see it's doing it's it's a little bit more efficient it's giving you a few more watts right 34 there's like three watts more okay let's try this now on the solar maybe this 
will shine. Maybe this will show us its true potential when you connect it into the uh, solar panels. Let's do that. All right, here we are outside. Here are the panels. There are two 100 watt panels in series, right? So I don't know, about 45 volts or something like that. Uh, first up, the DC to DC. Here we go. How much does it do? It's so hard to see. 70 watts. Oh, the sun is coming out. So it's gonna go up. Okay, let's see, let's see. 80 watts. All right, here we go. 83 watts. 84, man, it's still going up, 85. Um, it's kind of cloudy as you can see. So, here we go, it's changing a bit. It's not the proper way to do it. But okay, look, we got a base. 84 watts okay let's change this up so, now i connected it it's been a few seconds look at that 75.6 that's 10 watts difference on the exactly same setup these are about 700 watt hours worth of battery that we're gonna be able to cramp into a little thing. And so, it's so crazy that, and because we're using, we're gonna use the proper solar charge controller. We're gonna lose, okay, but here we go, look. The sun just came out. There we go. So 87 watts. Mm -hmm. I wish I had like a little button just switch that I can switch back and forth, but 91, okay. 91. Okay, let's just, look at that, 104. Yeah, <laughs> no matter how you slice it, this is more efficient than this. Uh, why that is i don't know but we're gonna i guess because in order to keep this safe this project safe and proper we're gonna lose about 10 watts of efficiency which is not a lot i guess right and of course this is pwm so it's not like a true uh you know powerpoint you know tracking mode on there or whatever the which is are the better ones to use uh look at this one is doing 100 watts yeah so anyways, it's just a quick video to show you. Stay tuned for the final video, build video, where I'm going to show you. And hopefully it's going to be a series of videos. Uh, and since I'm, I'm, I'm just revamping some of the old projects, then it won't take me forever to do uh, these ones, right? I'm just going to show you how to use this new system that we have here. And hopefully they're going to be cheaper and faster to build. Uh, and there, uh, people will be able to, you know, kind of make their own emergency power packs uh, just in time for all these storm seasons that are coming up in the east coast of the United States. Okay, so stay tuned for that. It's coming up. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, also it's Monday, so stay tuned for the live feed or the live stream coming up. I'm gonna try to go at 7 p.m. California time today, right? So right after this video uploads, you're gonna be able to I'm probably going to be around the same time. So go check it out. I'm, I'm live probably right now if you're watching this.